Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 962. If you want to download this workbook 960 to 963, click on the link below the video. In this video here, we have some uh, numbers that are imported, and there are commas where they're supposed to be decimals. So we need to convert these. In essence, these are considered text because it sees that comma and it goes, oh, this is text. But we need to convert them to numbers. There's two ways we can do it. We can do it with a formula or text to columns. Now, if you need, for some reason, the source data when updated, have the result updated, that's why you do formulas. But if you just want to convert them text to column, absolutely rules data. Text to columns right here. The keyboard shortcut is Alt-A-E, Alt-A-E. I'm going to say fixed width because we don't need to separate out. Really, we're using the text to columns not to separate the data, but to convert it. So next, we don't um, need to do anything here. Next, uh, nothing here except for this advance. We simply need to tell it decimal separator is a comma, and then click OK. Now, we could click Finish if we wanted to dump it in Replace. And many times, you know, you do not want that data, so then just click Finish. Um, however, we can change the destination cell also. And so instead of doing it right there, if you do it there, it just replaces the data, which is great for many cases. But in this case, I'm going to keep the original data and then dump it here and then click Finish. And boom, there it is. For a formula, we'll use the substitute. Again, why would you use, why do you use formulas? Why were formulas invented by uh, Bricklin and Frankston? Because source data you put in cells, then formulas automatically update. So here, this is going to be a little bit more involved than doing this, but if for some reason this changes, you want it to update, this is the method. All right, so check that out. Old text. Well, I want to, in double quotes, find a comma, in double quotes, comma, the new text. Hey double quote, uh, decimal double quote, and then close parentheses. Now a couple of things here. Substitute will deliver a text item. And you can immediately tell if the default uh, number, uh, general number format is here. You can immediately tell that this is not a number because it's aligned to the left. Well, there's a simple trick in formulas to convert it, plus any uh, any math operation on a number stored as text will convert it back to a number. So it doesn't matter. You can multiply by 1, divide by 1, exponent. I'm just going to add 0. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Now that's dynamic, right? So if I change this to 65, boom, that changes. So that's why I do a formula. If you happen to do this and you wanted them uh, off to the side or you didn't remember how to do text to columns, and you didn't want the formula, then you have to copy, paste special values. There's a great way to quickly copy some numbers over to a different uh, column, keep the formula, but have numbers dumped here. You highlight and point to the edge. And when you see you move cursor, instead of left clicking, right click. Drag it over. Now see, it's dragging. It's moving. It's got to drag. When you let go a cool pop-up menu, and you simply click on Copy, here is values only, and boom, there you have it. But again, formulas, that's when you want it dynamic and text to column. There's the steps. See you next video.